Treating diabetes, it's always such a challenge when you get a cat that's a diabetic. It's exciting because uh, a lot of times the cats are sick and the owners are worried about them and you can say, oh my gosh, I know what your cat has and I can treat it. And then we have to go into how we're gonna treat it. So we have to use a needle, we have to use a syringe, you have to measure precise amounts of insulin, and it has to be an injection under the skin. And that, quite frankly, is intimidating to, very, to many owners. So many of these cats go untreated because the owners just can't deal with that kind of treatment with their cat. Bexacat addresses this by being a once a day oral drug. So no injection, no needle, no pulling up a substance, and it's a once a day therapy, so the owners do not have to tie themselves to the cat twice a day. Bexacat is one of a class of drugs that is a SGLT2 inhibitor, and these drugs have been out for people for quite a while. The way that they work a little bit differently to the way that we've been able to treat diabetes in the past, in that they will actually lower blood glucose by causing the animals not to reabsorb glucose from the urine back into the system. So it is a non-insulin way to treat diabetes mellitus, which is huge. There's a couple of things that it's gonna do. One is there's gonna be a whole group of cats that would be untreated that are now gonna be treated, which is really exciting, so we're gonna make them feel better. Uh, the euthanasia rate for people who own these cats that have decided, okay, it's too complicated, it's too scary, I'm giving up and euthanizing my cat. We're gonna address those owners as well by giving them another option that's easier for them to deal with. It doesn't have hypoglycemic side effects, so I think that we're gonna keep some of these cats out of the emergency room and, again, to really just make their lives better. So with Bexacat, uh, since it's not an insulin product, we, are, we do have some incidences of ketosis. So we're gonna have to be measuring ketones more often. But once the cat has settled into therapy and we make sure that it's appropriate and that we aren't making the cat ketotic, then monitoring is actually gonna be quite a bit easier because you won't be tied into doing glucose curves and, uh, and it should be a lot easier to manage these cats long-term. Bexa cat's not gonna be for everybody. We have to make sure that they can make their own insulin. So they have to have enough beta cell mass to make some insulin. They can't be totally insulin deficient. And that is very hard to determine which cats have the ability to make some insulin and which cats don't. Bexacat's approved for use in newly diagnosed diabetics and you have to assume if they haven't been diabetic for very long, most of them can probably make some insulin. I am really excited about this drug because I, as an endocrinologist, I like to save these lives and nothing is more frustrating than losing a cat because the regime that we have to set up for these owners is, is something they can't do. This gives an owner a chance for an easier option, an easier therapy, and hopefully then they won't get frustrated and either not treat the cat so the cat suffers or not euthanize the cat. And for me, seeing these cases when you have these beautiful cats and the owner's heartbroken because they just can't keep up with insulin therapy and you're heartbroken because it's such a wonderful cat and you feel so bad for the owners, um, it will be wonderful if we have another option so that they could treat the cat the way they want to.